All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and salutation and much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word, truth, sincerity. And uh, these are the brothers from Tampa. This is the brother Ash. Cool. Okay, and then, well, we're just going to do a quick uh, video on the, on the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, you know, and how, uh, you know, this whole COVID-19 situation is, is just... Esau is using this to propel his agenda, you know, so that ultimately he can bring forth a, um, you know, <coughs> slot, his, uh, uh, the mark of the beast. Uh, if brother want to grab that, you know, Revelation 13, Con. and then we'll go to these articles. Con, this is uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16, and it reads, And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Or in their foreheads, okay, and that's what he—that's what he's—you know—you can see this. Even people in jail, you know, he's letting them out. You know, it doesn't matter who you are, all right, how much money you make. Ultimately, the uh, uh, he's gonna make you, all right, or you know, because you go into that word cause. I, I, go into that word real quick. Yeah, I, I believe it says to make. One of the definitions is to make. So he, he's gonna set it up so that you have no choice really. You either take it or you're not—you're not gonna be able to do anything. All right, you're going to be an outcast. That's why they got this ID 2020 coming up. All right. I think it's in October it's supposed to be that they look, you got to have an actual uh, 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 digital certificate, so to say. And Bill Gates has been pushing that lately as well. All right. They want to, they want to have you locked in digital, digitality or digital, you know, right. not just uh, okay. Like birth certificates is on paper, you know, uh, you get an ID, you go to the uh, the DMV, it's, they give you a little card. Now, they want all that to be digital now, you know, and be all on a database. That's why they're setting up the 5G, all right, the, the Internet of Things, They and you're going to be part of that, all right? Go ahead. Hey, real quick, I, got the, um, I have uh, Bill Gates respond okay. uh, to, um, it's a comment somebody left, I'll just read it. I think that was on the questionnaire yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah kind of. It says, um, to ask me anything or yeah, something like that. Kind of. Kind of. He said, uh, what changes... Are we going to have to make to have businesses operate to maintain our economy while providing social distancing? Mm -hmm. And uh, the comment here from uh, Bill Gates, it says, this is Bill Gates. Uh, it says, the question of, so I'll get right to the point. Eventually, we will have some digital certificates to show who has recovered or been tested recently or when we have a vaccine who has received it? Right, so what is that digital? He didn't come out and blatantly right. say it. But well, that digal certificate, where is that going to be at? <laughs> Digitally in in the chip, you know. Right. And how? Because how they? How else would it know if you got the vaccine or not? Because it's in you, right? And it's able to monitor, just like it's going to know your heart rate, you know, your uh, uh, your blood pressure. Right. It's going to know uh, your you take your medication today. You know, this is a. That's mainly gonna be the way they push that chip. You know, you know, you know, it's just speculation. But they're not gonna come out and say, "Oh, it's gonna be all about cash and sale." Because Esau knows that in, in the scriptures, it, it specifically points out buying and selling. So he's gonna present it in a better way, in a more convenient way, right. through the medical, you know, and the, and the convenience of it. Right. This is uh, the word uh, causing. Strong G forty one sixteen Poyeo. Poeo. Poeo, and it says to make. To make. See, there you go. So he, he's not. He's gonna try to make you by what? Shutting everything down uh, from you if you don't have this chip. All right. So that goes to show you it ain't Christianity. It ain't an embargo. Okay. This is talking about something that each individual person is gonna have to take if they want to continue with an Esau society. Okay. Uh, keep is going. On, is it on that one? Yeah, that was it on that, that definition. Yeah. Revelation thirteen and seventeen. So I read sixteen. Again. Okay. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark mm -hmm. in their right hand or in their foreheads. And you, if you I mean, this is not far fetched. People have already been taking the chip in their hands, all right, in other various places. And to what? To do payments, to open doors, to do all kind of things, you know. And that, and that's that's what they're pushing with this uh, the the COVID nineteen because you need to you need to have the social distancing. Look, you don't you don't need to touch the the damn uh, pen pad 
every you know to put in the pin and all that to swipe your card because even that's you know other people the next person after you is going to touch it too if he's using a card he's going to have to swipe it and to put his pin in use a little pin whatever and if it's cash then well that's even worse the cash you know that's the first thing to go because what who knows how many people have touched that and how many the, so the the virus is on that and all whatnot and we so we uh we understand that this is all you know to to help further his agenda man uh keep, keep going Con, verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark yep. or the name of the beast or the number of his name ah, so you're not gonna be able to buy or sell all right you're not gonna be able to work all right because what you when you when you're working you what you're selling your 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 time all right, you're selling your labor to the to the company that's in return paying you. All right, they're buying your time and you're selling it to them. So you're not gonna be able to buy. Uh, you're not gonna be able to work. You're not gonna be able to go to the store. You're not gonna be able to ride the bus. You're not gonna be able to do anything. You're not gonna be able to go uh, uh clock into your work either because you know they're gonna do that because they, they've already been setting it up. You know, I know the brother you uh when you was working at FedEx. They they had that. Yeah. They still had the. I don't know how they have it now, but yeah, they yeah. used to have it with the with the card. You tap it on them on the wall. Yep. The RFID reader. Yep. Kind. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, this is so instead of a card, you might leave your card at home. Hey, but if it's in your hand, you know, you it's, it's always on you. You know. All right. So this is an article real quick. This is called EuroMoney.com. It says cashless after COVID nineteen. So I'm just gonna read a little bit of it. It says the number of cashless transactions is rising. As the coronavirus pandemic limits the use of physical cash. All right. So uh, this is because, you know, and I purposely pay on cash now, pay with cash now just to see the face of people, you know, because they look spooked. You know, they'll look at you, do a double take at the money. I do it just to fuck with them, though. But um, let me jump down. Uh, it says. Uh, OK, here it is. It says necessity over convenience. It says digital payments once born out of convenience have become a necessity for some. So, again, this is going to be a necessity because, well, you're not going to be able if say what if everybody all tomorrow, they say no more cash. What are you going to be if you have cash? If you took, let's say you took all your money out the bank, you're fucked because now the bank's not going to take that money back. And nobody's going to no no stores is going to take that money. So all these people doing bank uh, bank runs, they're idiots. Because the cash is the first thing that's going to go. And then the cards and, you know, but the cash is the first thing they're going to get rid of. So if the banks ain't taking the cash, what are you going to use it for? You get toilet paper, you know. <laughs> it says, uh, you had something to say? Yeah, that's that's true because, you know, people think it's far-fetched to think about back when they had the gold standard. You know, those that certain money they had would have a stamp mm -hmm. and certify, you know, this money is backed up by gold in the U.S. Treasury. And eventually when they took that out, it was the uh, Frank D. Roosevelt. You know, he took all that away. You know, those those dollars that had the gold print on there it was taken out of circulation. You know, so then eventually at a certain period of time, you know, that money that was uh, backed up by that gold standard it was taken out of uh, circulation. And that's why today's time you don't have those money in circulation more. So going into the dollars that are in circulation now, they're just going to be ordered to turn either turn them in or get rid of them or so so you may have it. You know, because at the end of the day, it's not going to be useful anymore. You know? Exactly. This is it says uh, keep going. It says yes. There might still be a number of people who hoard cash, as is often the case in times of crisis. And this is a, this is a crisis. Esau, like Esau, uh, that saying says, "Never let a good crisis go to waste." Well, Esau's not going to let this go to waste, and he's through the, you know, on the forefront. It's all about coronavirus, coronavirus, you know. But really, behind Esau's behind closed doors, Esau's making move, man. He's pushing his agenda. It says, but others will cease to see the point if they are not able to use physical money to buy essential goods and services. So, you know, that's plain and simple, man. At it, at one point, it's convenient, right? You can use your phone, you know, to pay something, Google Pay or Samsung Pay, Apple Pay, or you could, you know, your watch, whatever. Now, it's, it was convenient. Now, it's going to be a necessity to have digital currency a di or a digital payment. And ultimately, we understand through the scriptures that, that, that Esau is going to use that necessity to microchip people, right? Um, let me see if I got anything else in this article. I got Go ahead. Uh, Isaiah 30, uh, the point is verse 2. 
Uh, Isaiah 30 verse 1, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and do trust in the shadow of Egypt. Mm -hmm. you know, we're going into uh, the RFID chip, which you saw Eden when he pushed. Okay, our people are going to trust, all right, in the government. They're going to trust in, in a RFID chip, man. Okay, because that's their, that's who they're, that's who they getting their counsel from, man. Mm -hmm. That's where they getting their cover from, their comfort. They're not getting their comfort from the Alabash and the Shai and prophets, man. Yeah. All right, you either uh, get comfort from the Galbash and Shai or Esau either. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and this and that this this is a uh, the two thirds of our people. This is their God, man. Uh, if a brother want to grab Second Thessalonians chapter two, because because this is what Esau is ultimately doing. He's uh he's making himself he's setting himself up as a God to these people, saying, look through through me everything you're gonna be because you know our people already go to him for everything. So, you know, in a time of crisis like we're in, an epidemic, he's going to present these vaccines and this and that to, to, to seem like he got the, the solution to the problem. But he's the one that, 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 that made the problem. You know, that's like somebody burning your house down and then he coming to help you put it out, put the fire out. You know, he's trying to, he, like we read earlier in that Sirach 12, he, he's trying to help you, but really he's trying to undermine you, man. Go ahead. Hey, real quick, yeah. uh, me and a brother did a video uh, in transit uh, the other day, and um, through the spirit, you know, we mentioned um, how the same thing you're talking about, what happened when uh, the government shut down. Our people were the main people. Man, we'll open up the government. We, these kids got to eat. We need to work. Mm -hmm. So that what? That trust in, the, in, this, in that shadow, you know, that trust in that cover, you know, and, and that's what's getting ready to happen again, man. It's getting ready to play out. And that was just a test run. Yeah. He saw like he saw getting ready to roll out that red carpet, man. And now he got the stimulus checks or whatever, yeah. and, they, and they're talking about the uh, instead of sending checks, why don't we should just do the digital dollar, which that they're still debating that, which we know ultimately whether they send the checks or these digital dollars, we all know where this is leading. Right. You know, right. go ahead. Uh, let me start in verse three. uh yeah. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter two, <clears throat> in verse three, let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come, except there be, so except there come a falling away first, mm -hmm. and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Yeah, so the man of sin, the son of perdition, has been revealed. This is the man causing all this uh, terror on the earth, man, causing all these uh, uh, crises, so to say. Go ahead. Now verse four, who was opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. Yeah, so he opposes, meaning he's opposite. Of everything that uh, that the Most High set up, he's opposed himself against the Most High. All right, the Most High said, uh, "A man and a man shouldn't lie down; they should be put to death." This man gives them rights, lets them get married, puts them above a, a, a straight man. You know, if you're a, a heterosexual, you're under a, a damn flame uh, queer man. He got more rights than you. You say something to him, he could he could lock get you locked up. But if he he could talk all kind of shit to you, you know, and just uh, walk away all sassy, you know. You know, so and and the most high, and you know he opposed the Most High has a spiritual mark, and he saw the way he's gonna oppose the Most High is making a physical mark, all right. So so he can claim you, you know. So he can he ultimately uh, uh, take your soul, as they say. Yes, he, he is God. He's sitting on yeah. the throne as he yeah. is God. These yeah. two nations shall not, you know, be removed. You know, yeah, Isaiah fourteen. Yeah. We'll get that too. You yeah. start it up, to, uh, well, whatever you want, but uh, thirteen and. 14th verse. Yeah, Go ahead, Doc. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4, who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, mm -hmm. or that is worshipped, so that he... Or that is worship. What are, you, what are you supposed to worship? You're supposed to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Uh, go back to, real quick, Bible Shaw, go back to Revelation 13, because let's see what it said about that. Because you, because when you receive that, when you go to, so like, you go to Revelation 14, 14. yeah, and, and 9. Yep. Cause let's see about that. What you what you're supposed to worship is the Most High, and that's it, and His Son. All right, that's it ain't no no if ands buts about it. That's it. There's no and or you know and you no. It's you worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's it. So the ones that are gonna receive this mark, let's see what they're gonna be worshiping. Go ahead. Revelations 14 verse 9, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man 
Worship the beast. Worship the beast. So the so they're worshiping the beast. That's why the the Esau is the beast. Esau is opposing himself to the Messiah so that he may be worshipped. Go ahead. And his image. And the image, his philosophies, his doctrine. All right, his his way of living, his his new world order. Okay. Go ahead. And and receive his mark. And receive his mark. So it's, it's, you're gonna for you to worship the beast, you're gonna receive his mark too. They go that go hand in hand. If you receive the mark of the beast, you worship in the beast. If you worship the beast, you're going to ultimately receive the mark. Go ahead. In his forehead mm. or in his hand. Yep. Verse 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. All right, so ultimately, you're going to receive that judgment. All right. <laughs> Thermonuclear missiles, the, the, the grand finale. All right. So go back to that Thessalonians. Uh -huh. 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4 Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the Most High or that is worshipped so that he as the Most High sitteth in the temple of the Most High showing himself that he, he is the Most High. That's right. So he's trying to set Esau, he's trying to set himself up as like he's he's God, man. He's the Most High. He created everything. That's why he got synthetic this. Uh, uh, everything the Most High made, he makes, he makes synthetic shit of, of it. You know, the Most High made herbs. He'll make he made pharmaceuticals. All right, the Most High, uh, uh, what what it was? Uh, the Most High made lakes, and this man would literally build a neighborhood and make man-made ponds and shit. You know, and then throw some nasty ass fish in there. All right, he he wants to make everything synthetic, just like the Kingdom of Heaven. The Esau wants to make his own Kingdom of Heaven, which is that New World Order. And how are you gonna get it? Get into it through that Mark of the Beast. You got to have the mark of the beast to get in there. And that's even if you're part of the 500 million, you know. But go ahead in that, Isaiah. Con, Isaiah 14 and 13. But thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the most high. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's trying to do, man. He, he, he's he got the international space stations. All right. He, he's built up his, his kingdom thinking that it's better than what the most high set up. All right. Go ahead. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the size of the north, which is uh, North America. Mm -hmm. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yeah, so he, he he's showing himself like the Most High, man. He will be like the Most High because he tells you what you can and can't do, what's right, what's not right. He got his own laws, he li law library, you know. So he's saying that, look, I'm the Most High. I'm telling you what, what works, what doesn't work. How it, how the Earth is supposed to work, you know. He 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 so his scientists and tell you how far the sun is and this and that. Want to want to tell you exactly how everything works and it's all bullshit. Go ahead. Verse fifteen. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell mm -hmm. to the size of the pit. Yep. So ultimately he gonna be brought down, man. Uh, if you want to grab Obadiah Bible shock, that was it on that. Yeah. yeah so uh, you can go to like verse three, Obadiah one three, or yeah. verse three yeah. So, cause he gonna ultimately he gonna be brought down, man. Cause he's puffing himself up like he's the Most High, sit, sit, is trying to establish his throne in the heavens, you know, trying to go to this, do this and do that. But ultimately he gonna be brought down, man. His his kingdom is gonna be brought to naught. Go ahead. This is Obadiah, uh, verse three. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Yep. So the pride of his heart has deceived him, man. Cause he he really Esau really thinks that he's he's about to establish a. A, a new world order, you know, he every he gonna have people uh, killed off, and the whole earth is gonna be killed off for five hundred million people, you know, everybody's just gonna no man, it's not that's it's not so man, go ahead. Thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Yep. Go to the next verse. Verse four. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Yep. And though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Okay, so he exalted himself, and the Lord's ultimately going to bring him down, man. Like we read in, in that uh, Isaiah uh, 14, he's going to bring him down to the pits, man. Literally, and and spiritually, man. He's going to be brought down from from his high position, his high chair that he's on, his pedestal. Is, the Lord's about to take him down from him. All right, this is Matthew, uh, real quick, Matthew 23 and 12. 
And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. So the ones that are being ex uh, exalted right now or exalting themselves, they're going to be abased, which is the main person is Esau, Edom. All right. And the ones that are humble, which are the elect, they're going to be the ones exalted. OK. And first beginning with Yahweh Shai, because he was the most humble one. All right. And he's going to be the exalted one, not Esau, Edom. All right. Because Esau's kingdom coming to an end. He will establish this digital currency, though. You know, he's going to chip people because he got to establish that digital currency to get that, you know, the, for the chip to work, you know. I got that precept, too. Can I go ahead and we'll close out on that. Con, Job 20 and 22. In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. When he is about to fill his belly, the Most High, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him yep. and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Okay, so right before he he establishes his enterprise, he's gonna get close, but then that's when it's gonna it's gonna all come down. It's all gonna come down to shambles. Alright? That's when the Lord is gonna return and, and destroy this man. You know, and all the nations that are with him that partook in the, in his wickedness. Alright, to help take down the nation of Israel. All right, because now, now you know, um, th those other nations are starting to realize that Esau just used you, man, to get to where he's at now. Yeah, mad. Mm -hmm. The other nations are waking up to it. The only, the only simpletons is the two thirds of our people, man. Still uh, uh, riding on the coattail of Esau, man, thinking that that's your best friend when that's your enemy. All right. All right. So with that, you know, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Badash. The bonus to the elder apostles of Green Millstone. Salutations and much love to you, Aki, out there. Shalom. Shalom.